Let's get to the tech news. Soon, Gmail will alert you if an email message is coming from an unencrypted source. Later in the show, we'll talk to the register's Ian Thompson about the importance of encryption. Hint, it's important. A Google multi-year empirical analysis of email delivery security showed that inbound encryption is on the rise. More receiving domains support encryption, and more than 94% of inbound messages to Gmail carry some form of authentication. However, the study also found regions of the Internet actively preventing message encryption, as well as malicious DNA servers and lots of emails still traveling through the ether in plain old readable plain text. The new warning system will let users know when they're on the receiving end of a message that was sent through a non-encrypted connection. According to a Google blog post, these alerts will roll out in the coming months. In other Google news, one of Google's self-driving cars was pulled over today for driving dangerously slow. According to the Mountain View Police blog, an officer pulled over the autonomous vehicle for going 24 miles per hour in a 35 miles per hour zone and piling up a line of traffic behind it. According to Google, the cute robot cars have their speeds capped at 25 miles per hour. Also, as a whole, the cars have driven 1.2 million miles or the equivalent of 90 years of experience for an average person. So it's really no wonder they're driving just like your grandmother. Apple has apologized about the way an employee and a security guard recently tre treated a group of black teenagers from Sudan and Somalia in an Apple store in Melbourne, Australia. The video, which hit Twitter earlier this week, showed the employees telling the students to leave the store because they were afraid they would steal something. The employee and the security guard have been fired, and Tim Cook has sent an email to employees calling this incident unacceptable and promising to retrain leadership in stores worldwide. The New York Times reports that a new service called Callisto will let college students digitally record details of sexual assaults and then decide later if they want to report them to school officials or to the police or to no one. The service comes from a nonprofit software startup in San Francisco called Sexual Health Innovations. Since many sexual assault cases depend on getting the facts straight, the idea behind the online service is that the facts are received are recorded anonymously, but they're date stamped so the victim can decide later about what like, they'd like to do about uh, what they've recorded. The tool also features a controversial matching tool that allows students to name their assailant and use their matching service to file a report only if the person they've named has been also named as a perpetrator by someone else. Callisto has raised nearly $400,000 from Google.org and is currently being tested at Pomona College and the University of San Francisco. Coming up, did the FBI pay to hack Tor? And will you pay to puke rainbows?